Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing part 2 of ranking the Arkham episodes. Now part 1 we put Catwoman, Catwoman's Revenge at number 6 and Nightwing's GCPD Lockdown at, um, at 5. So we're going to be ranking 4 and 3 today. And if you haven't go, if you haven't gone to watch me ranking the first two, go watch it. Anyway, here we go. Now at number four, I have Robins. Now I did enjoy it, but after playing it again, it's not as good as these others. And well. So the story is is that uh Tim Drake not Tim Drake man um Damien not Damien I think it's Damien or Tim I'm just gonna say Robin because <laughs> I don't know which one it is I know it's not Jason Todd so Robin and Barbara have gone on honeymoon but has realized that. What's his name? Uh, Two Face has gone. Has gone. Is getting out of prison. Kind of like Penguin got out of prison. He got out of prison. So nice for him. But yeah, so you basically just do a stealth, and then you get this. So after you finish it, you get this. I'll make him talk. Really? What? Nothing. Barbara, I know when you want to say something. Okay, it's just... You were always the good cop, weren't you? Good cop, huh? Okay. Also, I have a question. How is... How does Robin have to take the mode? He's wearing a mask. It, like, he's wearing something rubber. At least Batman was wearing a helmet. But yeah. Uh, we get that he's somewhere else. And I love and hate this bit. Because when you play this multiple times, it gets annoying. But the first time you probably do it, it's confusing. So basically, this is a stealth. It's, a, it's like a puzzle of stealth. So everyone keeps telling me. So the first thing you do is go into a grate and come down here. Then you put the explosion gel, which is a fun fact, is that he puts an R instead of a... a what do you call it? A, a bat symbol. So you go up there. Then you get the remote control battery. Well, not remote control battery. You get your remote, and then you go to turn that turret off, kill the machine guy, and then you have to wait for these turrets. Now for some reason the turrets were like broken, when one went to the side, the other, and I almost made it, I, if I just didn't jump in that loot box. Yeah, I got this. Sorry, kid. You should have stuck to the little leagues. And that's Teen Titans, actually. Yeah, I did it. And you just have to go over here and, and break this. So you do your first fight, and it's really easy. And if you want me to do punching or countering. I, I'm all out for it. I'm not doing the main game because some of an ounce already did it, and also I'm not going through pain. So, yeah. I only do the DLC. That's why I've only done punching or countering, because I don't know. But you do this very easy but hard puzzle. And it, this actually uses his bullet shield. Or you could just be like me and not use it, like, at all. 
You don't actually need his bullet shield. You could literally just dodge the bullets. Really, I just did this. I didn't use the shield at all. And then you see Two Face, and then you get into your second fight, which has got brutes. Uh, and yeah, it's probably it's it's probably the hardest in this. So after you beat them up, get this. Too bad it's short lived. It wasn't brave coming here. It was stupid. You're not the bat. Never were, never will be. Tim, get ready. Sorry, kid. You can't do this all alone. But yeah, what you just saw, it was a countering. So that was kind of sad. But yeah, we knock them out and we bring them back to GCPD. And I wish we were on a beach. And now we're in the top three. We have got the Harley Quinn story pack. Now, sure, this was a pre-order. This was made for the pre-order. It took me about 15 minutes to beat this, but I still liked it. You get to play as Harley. You get to use her cool gadgets and you get to use her maniac mode I thought it was good because this is base so this is a prequel to Arkham Knight you try to break out Ivy in prison you try to break Ivy out of prison in Bloodhaven so you got two stealth missions and two fights and I'm, I'm not gonna talk about uh, the stealth missions because they're really good there's going to be different ways to do it, but I'm going to talk about the boss, because that's probably the lowest bit of this. So you've done all the stealth missions, you did- oh, there's actually three fights, that one. And then we have this boss fight. Now, a way to do it fast is to turn on Maniac Mode as soon as you get it, and then do two loud takedowns on him. Then all you have to do is jump over him twice, use your bat. Use your bat so you can do a beat down, and if you do the accessories, will beat down. It will work. So, and also you could use a special combo take down on them. That's what I did, and that's pretty easy. So, yeah, I'm sorry. There's not much to talk about. Stop missions are great. The combat was great. Her being a cr playable crack character was great, and this was my first DLC to play in that whole Arkham series. So, I'm not going at some very. I just love it. Also, if you try to open the store, it's locked. Ain't that good? So, I'd like to see you guess what's gonna happen next. Red Hood, or Matter of Family, what do you think is gonna be first? I'd like you to guess in the comments. 